<laughs> get, get married then. I can't marry him. Why not? <laughs> I don't like him. He made his own do for. Right, right. Right. Mm -hmm. He's not my type. Then why are you on the phone with him? Right, right. Uh-huh. He's just a good friend. Like I said, ain't no such a thing. That's right. So we be just best friends. Don't you know best friends get married to? Yeah. That means something happens. <laughs> I don't want to have sex with him because that might mess up our relationship. That might better be that shit. And y'all get married. Right, right. <laughs> if not, then you got to go to reach. Finish school, get yourself together. Go in. Right. And be a virgin man. <laughs> then when it's time, you get somebody right, then you got to ask the kids. Mm -hmm. Then you ask somebody to sign. Right. Because remember, all a man wants is your milk, woman. Mm -hmm. And once he gets you milking you, you're out. That's right. You got to say, don't nobody get this unless you put something on here. That's right. Who is Because you ain't going to play me. Uh-huh. Who is Yeah, yeah. Hey, I've been playing too many times. You, you, uh, it ain't going to work. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You better get on your knees. One thing about a man, he don't want nobody to have you, so he'll get on his knees and marry you. <laughs> Once he milked you, he don't want you. So it's better to get the whole cow than he can milk when he wants you. Because what? This stuff costs. <laughs> you don't mean your stuff costs? He should be preaching that. <laughs> <laughs> hey, when he see you through hell, you're going to wish I was preaching. Yeah. All right. <laughs> yeah. I ain't ready yet. Then you ain't ready to be with me. Uh-huh. Next, you don't think he'll move on? He's trying to suck or something. Mm-hmm. All right. <laughs> uh, so wait a minute. Now, let me, let me warn y'all, if you talk about this message any kind of way, God got your number, and you're going to pay for talking about it. Let me get you the fear in you now. Go ahead, I want somebody to go out there and talk about it. Right. Talk about what I said and see what God, see what God do. Right, amen. Warn Right. But the fearful... The unbelieving, the abominable and murderers and whoremongers and saucers and all dogs and all lions to have their part in the lake of fire, which burning with what? Fire and brimstone. Look, there ain't nobody special. Don't you ever think you're special? Because God got rid of the first two that was here. Didn't he? How do believe that's the first two he got rid of. And he failed. Quit. Guess what? He kicked out a third of the angels. He kicked Satan out. Right. Do you really think God is playing? He sent 250,000 for messing with Moses. He opened the earth and they all went to hell. Telling Moses who he think he is. Right. Right. Okay. how the part where? In the lake, Jack. That burning with what? Fire. 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 See that fire? <laughs> and what else? Why are you preaching on it? No, I'm preaching to turn you from you. Because yeah, that flesh you got is hardcore. Yes, it is. That flesh you got is like a snake. Come on. Come on. It's got one set, man, on. and it won't turn. Hey! 
mad if you don't think your flesh is hot. When I preach, you make you mad. Because why? Because you won't turn. God's trying to get you to turn. Turn you around. Yes. So you won't have to go there. Uh -huh. Go to Ezekiel 318. See, it contaminates everybody. I'm telling you where we got God in. And when the preacher starts telling us where we got God in, y'all get mad at him. God telling me, tell him what I say. When I say to the wicked, thou shalt surely die, and give him not warning, nor speech in his speech, to warn the wicked from his wicked way to save his life. Jesus. That same wicked man shall die in his nicky, but his blood will have quiet dying. If I had to tell my wife, I'd tell you too. I'm trying to figure out how you get so special. Quit. How you get up Monday morning and do everything you need to do, but when they come to Sunday school, you won't get up to come. To, that's for the kid. That's for you too, you kid. They got Sunday school in there for the kids. What your kids too special to go in there? What they, uh, what, what, they special? <laughs> Everybody kids ain't special but yours? Mm -hmm. They're not too, uh, they not too good around other people. Well, make them be good around other people. Mm -hmm. All the other kids got to go. And matter of fact, they want to go back there too. Mm -hmm. They tired looking at you every day. <laughs> <laughs> Some of them tired looking at me every day. Who see that? Warn the wicked. See the wicked way? That's your attitude. Your wicked attitude. Amen. We look good on the outside, but inside we ain't nothing but a wolf. Quit. <sighs> Always ready to start up trouble. Can't no be no peace around you. <laughs> you ever see people like that? They just love ruckus and they hate to break up stuff and, and, and they, they just love drama. They ju drama queens and kings. And for a man to be like that, he must be a sister. They call a lot of drama, he must be a sister. Always starting stuff. Get stuff started. Don't know what peace is. I ain't coming back to your church. Good. <laughs> they like somebody trying to win folk, trying to get somebody in the church to sit down. You don't come, God, from there's somebody else. I trust God. Right, yes. Yes. <laughs> like that old preacher said yesterday, he's been he about 80, over 87 80 years old. He said, thank God we got somebody going to tell him. He thought that bitch. The bitch said, we ain't never read life, we can't help it. Right. <laughs> Thank you, Lord. You'd be surprised we had the old man. Because what he taught. Right, man. Look, that's hate preaching. See it? No, you hate yourself in sin. Oh, yes. man. He teaching Ooh. hate. No, you going to hell. <laughs> you mad because it's against your hate. All right. <laughs> so listen, man. You hate to listen to God. Jesus. You and the devil. Who's on the devil's side? <laughs> I hear nobody say yeah. But hey, but the devil know who you is. I'm here to see can I change your heart? Who is it? Hey, because you ain't gonna change if I preach to never never man. But one thing you gonna know, you heard. Come on. If thou warn the wicked, and he turned not from his wickedness, 
No, see that word turn? That's all we're trying to do. God got to show you who you are. He didn't be like that yesterday. Man, I don't care how you tired I fall. Lord, help me. I'm not going to quit. Right. I'm going to get up, wipe my knees out, and say, I'm going to go back to John Cole. Yes, I used to box. I was on the boxing. Thank God for my good coach. He was a good coach. He slapped me. He said, my wife. He said, I slapped him. He said, she told me, he told my wife, I had to do it. Did he say it like that? He said he wouldn't wake up. I didn't know what was wrong with him. So he came back in the corner. He said he reached back to the corner. <laughs> And I looked at him and said, who are you hitting on? I said, I got to wake up, boy. When he hit me like that, I said, who are you hitting on? He said, I'll take it out over here. I said, I'm with him. And I went out there and beat that boy down and took it out over here. Yes, Lord. Y'all want to win, coach. My God. <laughs> you want a punk boy, coach. They let you get away with everything. If you talk to my coach right now, he's the nicest person you ever want to talk to. But when you become one of his, one of his, one of his trainers, he's a different man. He took me to seven national championships. Seven. And two little child also. Jesus. Wow. <laughs> That's how tough that Jack was, boy. Mm. <laughs> if you see him, he thought he was the nicest man on the planet. One touch fly. But when he gets you in that gym, he, his whole demeanor just changed. Mm. <laughs> and he always worked with young people. And I came to there one day. And he stopped and told all the boxers, he still working with your people. He said, out of all the fighters I had, he's the only one to come back to say thank you. He said, I don't want nothing. I just want to say thank you sometimes. And he said he wanted to quit. He said, when I said that, it boosted. And I still call him right now today. And he cried like a baby. I said, if it wasn't for you, I wouldn't have had a discipline to be a pastor. Because he taught me this. He taught me how to get up and fight. Right, that's it. <laughs> and don't be no quitter. Yes. Yes. Jesus. Yes, Lord. You'll quit soon as you get on the racetrack. <laughs> Ten miles left. You only got one mile. Huh? Anybody paying me? <laughs> <laughs> you don't know that's for your life. Yeah. You're going to quit just like you do in life. Yeah. Quit. Yeah. Ain't nothing worse than a quit. So make sure, man. Thou yeah. warned the wicked. Go over there where it says, give a warning from me. Come, come up. Right there. Son of man, I may be a what? Watch. I'm the watchman of this church. Unto the house of Israel, therefore hear the word at my mouth and give them warning from me. You know, there's some folk this follow Jesus for the for the for the food. Anybody? All they wanted the food. Well, look who was left. There's only 12 left. And you backsliding, you gonna leave the church. So because everything didn't go your way. That's why you left, folks. Because you you want you. <laughs> I, I, it's me, or me, or me. Alright. How you gonna tell somebody? They're getting old, you gonna get old too. 
<laughs> you must be getting over. No, you the one getting over. <laughs> All God got to do is strike you with, with some kind of disease or, 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 or give you a stroke and see how old you get. You better watch how you talk to the man of God. God will strike you. All right. Amen. And make you over for your time. Yep. You sure These kids ain't got no respect no more. And don't you know that's the biggest killer out there? Disrespect. Right. So the man, I made their what? Unto the house of Israel. Therefore, hear the word at my mouth and give them warning from who? From God. If God warning you and you get mad, tell, tell you to turn. Go to Luke 16. He talked to me too. This book ain't talking. And he killed all them folks. <laughs> he put the devil out and changed his name. He killed Adam and Eve. He put the angels out of heaven. What you think he gonna do to you? That's sin. <laughs> ain't nobody got a chance. What is it? Hey, uh, uh, what's the name? Ananias and Sapphira lied to the Holy Ghost about money. The man of God asked them. They got together and said, tell them we ain't got this and we ain't got that. They lied. So they went to the man of God and the man of God said, who told you to lie against the Holy Ghost? And they both dropped in. So they lied about money. The Holy Ghost seen them get together. Yeah. Then when they approached the man of God, both of them dropped. And look, the other seen the other one carrying the other one out. They should have told the truth when he seen the brother one carrying out. Wow. Y'all, he dropped them dead right there. But sure lied about money. He said, who told you to lie against the Holy Ghost? <coughs> can, can, can I tell you something? You mess with this poor pit. That one sin God won't forgive. Blaspheme of the Holy Ghost. He'll forgive all manner of sin. But the blaspheme of the Holy Ghost, he will not forgive. I ain't rather with nobody against God. And never mess with the Holy Man. You'll get in trouble so quick. You wish you was in trouble with the, with the CIA. So basically, <laughs> now you see, you see this message. Don't tell the people like these kind of messages. But God loves them. Because look, look at that. Look at the warnings. Warning from me. Who see that? Yes. Warning from me. No, warning from the past. From me. The watchman is talking, but the warning is coming from God. Right. That's it. And that's what folks get mixed up. You get mixed up in the person. Who is it? <laughs> then you turn on your TV and see all them famous preachers. Oh, you love him because he's talking real good. Huh. He ain't talking like this. Because yeah. he know that might run you away. <laughs> <Yep>. <laughs> He's talking real smooth. Right. And God's going to bless you after a while. If, if, if this send me a hundred dollars, you'll see yourself done. Look, go look at it. They teach it like this, and it's in the Bible. Right. How many know they're supposed to be warned? Yeah. You know it. How many know you're in trouble? If you don't believe you're in trouble, why you coming? <laughs> but I ain't coming here no more. Good. <laughs> That's how I know you're in trouble. That's one thing I never did. Doug, I never met with the preacher. I never met with the church. Yeah, I was a robber and a thief. And then dope and did everything. It was something about that preacher and something about that church. I, I wouldn't touch. And I was a, a ranked fool. You hear me? 
A right fool will cut you out of minute. But I never met with the preacher. I never met with the church. Who is it? All street folk. If they're real street people, they ain't met with no church. <laughs> They'll come back and bless the church before they mess with it. I know what I'm talking about. Before they met with the church, they'll come by and bless. So watch yourself. Go ahead. I'm with my pastor preach that tough message. I said, Lord, I want you to forgive me if anything I said or did. And I said, Lord, is it I? Go ahead. You better think like the apostles. Lord, is it I? All he right. said, one of y'all should betray me. He said, Peter said, Lord, is it I? Right. Because you know everything. He said, no. The one that dipped his hand with me, that's the one I'm going to do. And they didn't see that. It was Judas. It was Judas that betrayed Jesus. So wait a minute. How, look, how you going to get with the rest of folks, it's destroy your own father or your mother. As my wife said, when we first started, the devil was fighting. And God talked to her. She said, how you gonna give it all the people to help destroy your husband? Am I right, Trina? They woke her up. She said, you do it like they do. And God woke her up. Read what God was saying. If he died, you have part to do with it. Because you do it like they do. Right. Now you might not be hanging around or being with them or whatever, but you're doing the same thing. Folks have been talking about me since I've been there. You might not be hanging with them, but you're doing the same thing that group doing, trying to kill the pastor. Don't you know the devil won't be dead? He don't like this kind of preaching. This is different kind of preaching, y'all. Anybody here? I, I preach in Africa. Man, they love this kind of preaching. He said, man, you're straight forward. <laughs> man, I, I, I enjoy myself being over now. Them brothers, they were real. They know how it is to be poor. The one, the one is, man, we too spoiled. You little spoiled kitty, you little spoiled brats. Get what you want. You're getting all kind of food and food stamps. You got a nice house on welfare. Some of y'all ain't got to work. You got a check coming to your bank and everything else. Jobs all over the place. And you won't even go get you none. You spoiled brat. Right. This lazy country. Yes. Yeah. Somebody, some of y'all need to go into them uh, poor countries and live there for about a month. I bet you come back and preach that it did. You can't get nobody to mop the kitchen floor. <laughs> come on, they look back. Everybody want to preach, but nobody want to work. Come on, give me, give me, let me have it. Man, we going to hell. If we don't change and get our life back on online, we going to the lake with the rest of them. And I refuse to go down there. Look at all you little kids. They gonna make us with some of us. All the kids going. And y'all can ride me in town. <laughs> Here you beat them down, but they gonna help them. So wait a minute. Who is it? You don't know what kids be going through. We have mean folks on the planet. With dog kids. When on the, on the outside, they real nice. But in the inside, they cussing kids out and everything else. Beating them down like they grown people. Who is it? But as soon as you get in the fight, you want to run. Because there's somebody else grown. They can beat, they hit back. Kids can't help themselves. 
They can't fight back. They, you know they can't, you can't beat them.